Children, now it's our exercise time. Let's do the exercise in the workbook for the lesson 20, the world of animals. So, we learned about different kinds of animals around us or the world of animals, isn't it? Now, we will do the exercise belong to this lesson in the workbook. So, our first exercise in the workbook is... Yes, exercise 1. Tick the correct answer. See, we have three questions here. One, question number 1, 2, 3. All the three questions have three options. Option A, option B, option C. You have to read the question carefully and check which option is correct. The correct option you have to tick in the square box. Now, first question. These animals live in water. Option A, dogs. Option B, turtles. Option C, cats. Dogs lives in water? No. What about cats? They don't, they won't live in water, isn't they? They are not living in water. Then option B, turtles. Tot, it looks like tortoise only. Tortoise they are. Tortoise. A small difference is there, but they are tortoise. A kind of, isn't it? Okay. So turtles or tortoise we say. They live in water. Yes. So, the animals live in water. Which option is correct? Option B. Turtles. T-U-R-T-L-E-S. Turtles. Or we can say tortoise. Turtles. Okay. So, this is the correct answer. Just give a tick here. Now, second question. Which is the second question, children? Can you read? These have six legs. Option A, insects. Option B, birds. Option C, animals. Which is the correct answer? Six legs. Which animals have six legs? Yes, we learned about the animals that have six legs. Small they are. They have small wings also. Yes, they are insects. I-N-S-E-C-T-S. Insects. Option A is the correct answer. So, you can give a tick here in the square box. Now, third question. The last question. Yes, read. We can... Get this from animals. What we get from animals? Option A, mango. Option B, milk. Option C, paper. Among this, which one we get from animals? Yes, we learned about the animals which are useful to us. Useful animals or domestic animals. These animals gives, give us eggs, milk, meat, wool, etc. Isn't it? So domestic animals or useful animals they are, which gives us milk. Isn't it? Yes. Option B, milk. M-I-L-K, milk is the correct answer. So give a tick in the square box. So first one, these animals live in water. Answer option B, turtles. T-U-R-T-L-E-S. They are known as tortoise. Then second, these have six legs. Option A, insects. I-N-S-E-C-T-S. Insects. Third one, we can get this from animals. Option B, milk. M-I-L-K, milk. Okay, children? Children, so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 2. Fill in the blanks. Okay. 
question a b c d four fill in the blanks are there read the questions carefully then think the answer and write okay yes a dash is the animal that can live on land as well as in water which is the animal that live on land also in water we learned about some animals that live both on land and in water isn't it yes or no yes they are frog tortoise crocodile yes so any one name you can write here we can write frog f r o g frog frog is the animal that can live on land as well as in water b the second one birds have dash that help them to fly yes birds have wings or feathers we say or wings we can say birds have wings to fly yes which help them to fly w i n g s wings third one c milk is produced by milk is produced by which animal gives us milk cow gives us milk buffalo gives us milk yes so we can write buffalo b u f f a l o buffalo slash cow also we can write cow any any one you can write you can write cow or buffalo okay c o w cow or b u f f a l o buffalo now the uh, last one question number d dash animals live with us in our house yes what uh, what and anim which animals or your favorite animals live with you in your house that animals are called by a name yes they are known as yes pet animals p e t pet pet animals are animals that live with us in our house we take care of them yes so first one frog is the animal that can live on land as well as in water second birds have wings that help them to fly third one see milk is produced by cow milk is produced by buffalo any one name you can write the last one question number d pet animals live with us in our house okay children so coming to the next question children question 3 roman 3 let's answer okay here they have given few question you have to answer those questions so let us start with the first question so which is the first question here can you read question a name three animals which live on land only you have to name any three animals that live on land so tell me which are the animals that live on land yes there are many animals live on land so just you have to write any three answer sheep s h e e p sheep comma cow c o w cow comma lion l i o n lion sheep cow lion okay yes so the second question is question b name three insects so you learned about insects also yes insects so you have to name any three insects so answer house fly h o u s e house fly f l y fly house fly comma mosquito m o s q u i t o mosquito comma cockroach c o c k r o a c h cockroach 
So these are the three insects. Housefly, comma mosquito, comma cockroach. Yes. Now the next one, question C. What is the question here? Yes. Name two animals that can live both in water and on land. You have to name any two animals that live both in the land and also in the water. Okay? Yes. Which are those animals children? Answer frog, comma, crocodile. Frog, F-R-O-G, frog. Then crocodile, C-R-O, C-O-D-I-L-E, crocodile. So these are the two animals that can live both in water and on land. So question number A, name three animals which live on land only. Answer sheep, cow, lion. Second question, name three insects. Answer housefly, mosquito, cockroach. Third, question number C, name two animals that can live both in water and on land. Answer, frog, crocodile. Children, so our next question is question D. Yes, name two birds. So you have to name any two birds. Yes, answer, parrot, comma, pigeon. Parrot, P-A-R-R-O-T, parrot. Then pigeon spelling, what is the spelling children? Yes, P-I-G-E-O-N, pigeon. So any two birds. Parrot, pigeon. E, the next question and the last question here is name two pet animals. Yes, so you like pet animals, isn't it? Yes, and you learned about pet animals. So you have to name any two pet animals. Answer, dog, cat, parrot. Yes, I have written one extra, but you can write any two. Okay, D-O-G, dog, dog is a pet animal, cat, C-A-T, cat, cat is also a pet animal. So two is enough I think, okay, name two pet animals, parrot is also a pet animal but don't write dog and cat, they asked any two, so you can write dog, cat, okay, D-O-G, dog and C-A-T, cat. So D, question number D is name two birds. Parrot, pigeon, E. The last question, name two pet animals. Answer, dog, comma, cat. Okay? Children, so our next exercise in the workbook is, let's do it. So you have to do something here. Okay? So let's see what you have to do. Let's do it. Look at the pictures below. Yes. In your workbook, page number 45, some pictures are given. Write D for domestic animal, W for wild animal, B for bird and I. I for insect. Yes, so you can see the image first. If it is domestic, you have to write D. There is a square box under each image. The small square box, you put D if it is domestic. If it is wild, put W. If it is a bird, put B letter. If it is an insect, then write I. Okay? So let's start. Hmm? See the first image. Can you see the image here? Yes. Which image is here? Which animal you can see here? Yes, it is. It is a cow, isn't it? Cow. So cow, is it a domestic, wild bird or an insect? Cow is a domestic animal, isn't it? Yes, cow is a domestic animal. It's a useful animal which gives us milk. Yes, so you can write D there. D. 
so you can see the image there in the workbook down there is a small square box so write D yes now see the second image children which is the second image here can you see the image yes which image is this which animal you can see here yes the biggest animal yes yes it is an elephant isn't it yes so elephant is a domestic wild bird or insect elephant is a wild animal it lives in forest wild animals so you have to write w under the image a square box is there there you have to write w okay yes now come coming to the third image yes which image you can see here it is an yes a small a small insect yes a small insect it is it is an ant isn't it yes so because it is an insect you have to write i yes the starting letter of insect i now see the fourth image which image you can see here the fourth image which animal is this yes it is a bird that can fly it has wings to fly yes it is a parrot yes so it is a bird so you have to write b yes b it's a bird now next image yes so which image you can see here children yes it is an image of a butterfly isn't it butterfly yes do you like a butterfly do you like butterflies so beautiful to see them isn't it it is also a small insect or it comes under the group insect butterfly like housefly butterfly isn't it yes so it is an insect so you can write i yes i now coming to the next image sits the image what you can see here see the image here children yes it is a pigeon pigeon is a bird it can fly yes it is pigeon so it is a bird so you can write b yes the sixth image is of a pigeon so b next the ne seventh image name this image children what you can see here yes it is a god isn't it yes is it a wild animal domestic bird or insect god is an animal which is useful to us it gives us meat yes we take care of them in the farm we keep them in the farm it is a domestic animal so god is a domestic animal so you can write d yes next the last image yes which image you can see here the last image is of a lion the king of the jungle king of the jungle king of forest who is the king of forest children king of forest is lion yes he is the king of the forest king of the jungle we say yes so he lives in forest a lion lives in forest so it is a wild animal yes so we have to write w isn't it w yes w yes finished so first one first one first image is of a cow it is a domestic animal so you have to write d in the square box the second image is of an elephant 
it is the wild a wild animal it lives in forest you have to write w the third is of an insect so you have to write either then fourth animal is of a bird it is a parrot so you have to write b the then next image is of a butterfly it is an insect you have to write either then next image is of a pigeon it is a bird so you have to write b then the next image is of a goat it's a domestic animal you have to write d then the last image if is of a lion the king of king of the jungle king of the forest we say lion so you can this it is a wild animal so you have to write w there okay children yes so now we completed the exercise in the workbook hmm? of the lesson 20 the world of animals so we completed the exercises in the workbook children go through this exercise after reading the lesson once twice or thrice read and read and read the lesson then you come to the workbook and do the exercise part read the exercise and do the exercise learn it properly because you have exams you have assignments you have exams and assignments for each lesson okay so that's why i told you to read the lesson thoroughly then practice in the workbook hmm? see the exercise and uh, read the questions carefully answer it read it learn it and be prepared prepare well for your exams okay children